You are seeing our videos from the Kansas City Chiefs' Super Bowl Day Parade. <laughs> and fans of the Chiefs going after and tackling the alleged shooter. Here are the latest. Before we get into it, allow me to just say, and I'm seeing even breaking news right now, two people have been arrested. I'm going to read you parts of different news outlets, but let me just say, how American, how American, on the day that is supposed to be filled with triumph and everyone saying that sports brings people together, which they do at times. How incredibly freaking American that when we are celebrating these triumphs, it turns into freaking tragedy because of lax gun laws everywhere. Sorry, it's the damn truth. We can't even go out and celebrate a sports team. We can't go pray. We can't go to a synagogue, a church, a mosque, we can't send our kids to school. We can't go to a mall. We can't go to a movie theater. We can't go out in public in this country. What are we doing? Over and over and over again. This is crap. I'm being honest with you. I have a, I have a daughter, all right? I fear for the day I send her to school. It makes me question why I have not moved to other countries that have stricter gun laws. Because not everyone should have a gun. And not a good guy with a, a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. Those are NRA talking points. But here we are. Here we are. Super Bowl Day Parade. And Chiefs fans bravely, heroically tackled one of the shooters. This is from ABC. One person is dead and nine are injured. Three victims, critical condition. Five, serious condition. One has non-life-threatening injuries, according to officials. According to ABC, two armed people have been detained, according to the Kansas City Police. My God. One person, Sother... Uh, Sother told Kansas City ABC affiliate KNBC, all of a sudden they all started running out and you see all these policemen come running in there and you knew something happened in the station. We see people running, we hear gunshots, and we take off running. And we look over and there's a guy next to us on the ground, wrote one, excuse me, told uh, KNBC from the mouth of one witness, Jennifer Wilbers. There would be plenty of Chiefs players that would weigh in praying for KC, says Patrick Mahomes. Drew Tranquil says, please join me in prayer. But that is the issue. That is the crux. Because when all this went down in El Paso, Rob Elementary, what did Ted Cruz say? I will always lift up the victims in prayer. You need to stop praying and start acting. How about doing both? You could walk and chew gum at the same time. You could be religious or non-religious. I don't care. But what in God's name thinks that this is okay? Another witness. There was yelling and we didn't know if it was safe to leave. So we tried to block the doors. We heard the elevator start to move. So we opened the doors and ran out. There were officers there. I've never been so glad to see an officer in my life. What are we doing here? 14 people have been injured and one person is dead because of spineless leaders in this country. Spineless. 
cowardly, accepting the gun lobby's money over and over again. I'm sickened by this. Not to be forgotten, in June of 2023, two people were shot as they were leaving a celebration for the Denver Nuggets. I remember years back, outside of Pfizer Forum, <clears throat> after the Bucks won, there was a shooting there too. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We live in an insane country. An insane country. Where maniacal people, which by the way, the gun lobby fought for people who are on the no-fly list to be able to obtain a firearm, then a woman and her private parts. They have more rights. Crazy. Churches, schools, grocery stores, outlet malls, hospitals, college campuses, house parties, celebrations of sports teams. When will it end? 